of what training is also. I don't I, I haven't I haven't been on your website in a while, but before you had you were had you were quoting that free play book, mm -hmm. which is just such an amazing uh, piece that, that talks so much about the performer and what is artistic training and what and what does that mean and, and how much of that is in the way of becoming a performer and, and just all of that. It's just, it's just such a beautiful book. Um, and I was wondering, I, I don't remember what the specific question was. <laughs> There's something no, smart. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Stephen Nachmanovich, the author of Free Play, has, has a great influence on me, as you know. Um, I think the book is quite terrific because he speaks a lot about concepts that are more, uh, that are deeper in the consciousness. Uh, and speaks about things in a very Eastern way. His philosophy seems to be very Zen or Eastern influenced. And he's also uh, working in a Western ideology. So uh, sure. I work with a Russian clown troupe, uh, many of whom have a very old world view of the human condition. Mm -hmm. uh, and so the approach that we take must consider uh, many things beyond my primary superficial intellect. Uh, I must take into consideration that I'm performing all over the world for people of different cultures uh, in an art form that's essentially dead to many of these people. So, uh, yeah, there's a great difference between training and education. And, and this is one misconception in this country that we, we don't educate people, we train them. And through training, we tell them we're educating them. And essentially what we're doing is unplugging their natural uh, resources and plugging in a, a system of rules that interrupt the natural process of taking in the environment and responding. There's always a hiccup of consideration. My mind interrupting and saying, wait a second, I should count to 10, or how should I respond to this? Or, I must be careful. Or that's or, bad or that's good, even if it's yeah, a judgment. It's, it's always something that just value. interrupts the natural process. And this book uh, is really nice, uh, well-written book that I think uh, has helped a lot of people to, to relax. Uh, for me, training is something which, and he, he says it, it, it's mm -hmm. very specific information for the performance of something very specific. Uh, education is the the induced to, to, to awake something that's latent within you. Uh -huh. And to me, I can't say what qualm will be. I can say what it was and what we consider it. But for you, Chris, and for you, Drew, I can't say you should do this and you're a qualm. Right. I can say you must try to use your voice and your capacity to be creative. Uh -huh. And if I can put you in a state to help you feel that emerge, then I feel like we're on the right track. And I can awesome. show you a lot of things I can do or someone else can do. It doesn't make you anything interesting to do that. You know? Let me just uh, bring Drew into it. Like so, like you know, in this conversation, like what are some of the ways that, that you've experienced this in your life? Well, a lot of teachers that I've had in the past, you know, this, it's very cliche to say get out of your head. Right, right. right? But um, one thing I found in the lab that Jeff kind of some of these bizarre exercises that that come up in the lab you don't quite know what you're doing and you feel your brain trying to work them out, but they kind of, they're like brain tricks or ways of, uh -huh. real ways of, of actually bypassing that, that sure. circuit. And it's, you know, it's very free. And then you get to kind of a giddy state sometimes, sometimes not. But, and, and you make discoveries, real discoveries, something that you hadn't planned to do. Um, and then of course the tendency is to go back and try to repeat that. But, mm -hmm. And that's the whole puzzle. Sure. So, for me, lab has just kind of had like an, uh, Unfinished quality moment. No, no, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Oh. Keep going. No. No. I would just like But just that, just that it's it's kind of a constant process that has fed me. Like I've had the lab going, and it's fed all of my other types of acting, like you know, stage yeah. readings or theater or you know, film stuff like this. Awesome. Like a source. We do only have a couple minutes, so I, I want to. But I would like to hear a little bit, maybe just for a minute, about what you're going to be presenting this evening, the clown review. 60 seconds, <laughs> and my, I don't know, just, you know, what, what that is. Uh, well, what I hope to do is go in front of the audience. I never make a final determination of what I do exactly on stage until I'm in the space, in the energy with the people and everything. We do have some idea of three pieces, of uh, three segments that will show exercises mm -hmm. and things we're working on, um, but I may change all of that. And we may, basically, we have, a, I've assigned a few students to participate. We'll go and treat the space of the stage as if we're in a clown lab session. Mm -hmm. And for this period of time, we'll get a look into the window of the process, and that's it. Excellent. Well, I'm really excited about it. Is there anything in closing that you guys want to say about uh, anything at all? 
Yeah, so thank you for letting us have the opportunity to show this to your audience. And uh, uh, that's basically it. Thank you for allowing us to come and say a few words. And we hope that uh, it's interesting. And you can always uh, find out more at www.newyorkclown.com. And anybody's welcome to the lab. All you have to do is contact me, and I'll certainly be glad to add you to our list. Excellent. Um, well, thanks so much for tuning in. Okay. Yeah. <laughs>